Did you did you feel as if this uh, for all the dogs was gonna be a mature album? Were you looking for introspection? What I misunderstood. You? I clearly misunderstood what he meant by the dogs. The title. <laughs> I clearly misunderstood what he meant by the dogs. He was clearly talking about the girls. Got, mm. Yeah, like, being a dog for the yeah for the girls. Yeah. Had I had I received it that way, then maybe I look at it a little different. But yeah. as a as a Drake fan, it sounds like a Drake album. As a Drake fan. The uh, certified lover, whatever that was, is a bunch of leftover scraps. Maybe the public so don't know thing. that, but I know that. Me too. Mm-hmm. Dark Lane demo, dog. All right, we waited through that. Maybe you're trying to get out of a contract. Cool. I them, would. them scary hours. All right, nigga, we back to that. Cool. It's a little baby, whatever. Scary hours too. <laughs> okay, not my bag, but I'll wait a little bit. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, what came after that? Uh, her loss. Her loss is in the mist. Her loss. Oh, mm. honestly, never mind. Yeah, no, disco mm-hmm. album. We get a disco album. I like that one. Disco. I like it, but like I'm it. being patient. <laughs> still, <laughs> disco is crazy. Still, this, this, still, this requires yeah. patience. I like this. Right. Yeah. But I, right, the boy, the boy creating. Yeah. yeah he, he gets to then it. we get her loss. Hey. Okay. I like this, even though I don't really want. I don't like my boy with Twenty One Savage, but mm. I like this. <laughs> this is cool. But I'll be patient and wait till I get the boy. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then for the dogs, come, which you couldn't <laughs> tell me after that long ass wait that that wasn't going to be for me. So maybe that was selfish. Gotcha. Yeah, maybe gotcha, that was yeah. selfish. Because I, I said on this pod that we've seen introspection from him already. We heard him talk about his pops being a deadbeat and his mom being his manager or just things about his family and stuff like that. And I just argue that y'all don't want a mature album for real. Y'all going to get the mature album and be like, yo, this is fucking boring. Turn this shit off, man. That's not true. I, I disagree with that. From your crowd or from uh, the crowd that he's trying to... Uh, or gather well not to spend too much time on drake but i disagree with the theory that he can only function this way with the crowd that he's trying to gather right like take care is eight times platinum mm-hmm. nothing was the same as six times platinum mm-hmm. those are the only two albums that are like that which tells me that oh if he do it the way he do it and hit everybody then he can succeed in a way that only Drake could do. I don't get the whole, hey, I want to appeal, so let me hit the kids. Okay, well, you appealing, and you get back what you get back, which is, what you do, two million? Like, whatever you about to do, it's not what you could do. Mm-hmm. So I just disagree with, hey, you have to, he has to hit the kids so he can, I don't see it that way, though, at all. I feel like If you're it- doing that, you just want to be popping with kids. It's not that you have to do that. You just like kids. <laughs> Do you think? Do you think he could stay on top though? Was he? When was he not on top? Kai Sanat, who you mentioned, I've heard him say that his favorite rapper is, is a, a, boogie. a boogie, but he's from that, the Bronx. So I mean, that's, that's vicinity, that's sure. sound, that's like but cultural also his, familiarity, but also his age, right? And that's a big streamer. So if he's looking at those types of people and they're the new voices for you know what's popping, and we see them a lot on blogs, etc. I can totally understand why he could be like, wow, like the kids don't see me the way my crowd see me. Well, I do too if I look at it through that lens, mm-hmm. but without doing that, if I'm Drake, no sentence of mine starts with what Kai Sinat wants to do. Mm. I'm Drake. Mm. Fuck do I care about what the biggest stream in the world is? I'm Drake. It definitely helps though. I think his lifestyle I'm Drake. Gonna, I think his lifestyle is going to change. I'm Drake. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can name things that's going to help, but I am him. That's mm-hmm. true. I am going to dictate Nobody out there understood nothing about started from the bottom when it came out. The bop, the key, yeah. the hook, the fucking, that shit was weird. <laughs> no what happened when it came out? It, it went, worked. It went. Took off. Everybody changed. Started up. Now his song started sounding like it. Mm-hmm. He changed things. Not Kai Sinat. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's funny mm-hmm. because your sentiment from views still sounds very similar to how you feel. It's today. consistent. It's very consistent. It's consistent. Hey, somebody pulled up. I, I did an Instagram post about him one of them years, 2014, 2015. Somebody recently reposted and was like, yo, it's funny. Everything Joe is saying in this post <laughs> is what is consistent with what he's saying now. Previously. Mm-hmm. Which is, yo, dog, there will never be a time where I'm not concerned about lyrics. That will never happen. I'm listening to lyrics. If you put it there, I assume it's open for us to talk about. Mm. If you putting it there and it sound like you're trying to talk to 12-year-olds, then nigga, I'm going to say, all right, this is no longer, this is, I'm out. I tap out now. That's what I do now. I tap out. You want to appeal to them, I certainly can't tell you you're doing it wrong, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. 
I know when it's my time to tap out. I think I think his lifestyle is gonna change in Houston. You hear he got a crib out there? I tapped out already. <laughs> <laughs> I tapped out. He's like, I don't know. I tapped out. <laughs> if I happen to catch something yeah. with back in his middle of the ocean bag, yeah. then yeah. Pipe then down. less than then, yeah, pipe, pipe down, down. pipe down, down. Ones. elevate, pipe, pipe down, down. Any, of ones. That, any of that, yeah, yeah that's yeah. for me. Where it's like when he get to dissing Kanye and pushing them niggas, let's fucking go. go. When he yeah, get in yeah, the yeah. arrogant, yeah. I'm the best in the world. You, you let's like, go. You, you know, like the R&B on this album, though. But, but yeah, but, okay, me too. I, I think that was the highlight of that. Album. Alex, yeah, what's lost in all of this? Mm-hmm. Is I do like the album. <laughs> oh yeah, you did say you that. Said, never you said, said that. Yeah, I yeah, like the yeah, album. You did say but that. my tone and how I come you, off, I be abrasive. Then I say I like it, but then I come with criticism. It's yeah, just like yeah, I'm, yeah. that's my job to do. And it's hard for him to digest a full piece of content from you. I, I'm so surprised that people saying, "Oh, you know, he didn't watch the whole thing." I mean, well, duh. When you're living like that, he don't have to watch the whole thing. Yeah. But if you're gonna go off like that, if you're gonna go off the way that you went off. Then you might want to watch a little yeah, more. Yeah, might as well watch the whole thing. Especially with somebody that you have uh, any facsimile of a relationship with.